welcome back to my video series on how to use Camly. So in this video, I'm going to show you a neat little um, trick on how you can um, do a keyword search in a much more efficient way. And that's by using um, uh, proximity operators. So going back to our example, uh, where we're, we're looking for uh, information on whether one is um, obliged to, um, to pay child support uh, for a child's uh, university education in the divorce context, we had entered um, this search phrase. So we have divorce in the keyword and the exact phrase uh, child support, we're asking Canley to, to look for. And we also want Canley to look for documents that have the phrase university education. So we throw that on there. And um, as we showed you in the last video, um, it, they, we still come up with a, a lot of cases, um, 610 to be exact. So um, in order to um, narrow down our search a little bit more, um, I'm going to show you that what you can do is you can uh, put in here between the phrases child support and university education, you can put in the, uh, the, the characters slash P and put a space. And so what slash P means to Canley is that now you're asking it to look for the phrase child support um, within the same paragraph as the phrase university education. So let's take a quick look at that. So if we were to search that, it's actually uh, coming down to uh, from 610, you have now 108 cases. So that's a lot better. And if you go through your results, you can, uh, you can of course, uh, start to uh, begin uh, looking for uh, cases that are relevant to what you're looking for uh, by starting to go through these little blurbs and seeing uh, whether they are indeed what you're looking for. So if you want to take a quick look at the results, uh, so you scroll down and um, you see, ah, in the, the result number three, um, if you see that here it says um, the respondent will no longer be required to pay child support, but will continue to pay the expenses associated with their university education. So this sounds like we are um, on the right track. And so uh, usually what I do is uh, whenever I do um, searches, um, I, I usually scroll down to just kind of take a quick look at the results to see whether I'm getting closer to what I want. But you don't really want to look through 108 cases. So um, what you might want to do is you're going to narrow it down even more. So instead of um, asking Kenny to look for um, documents with the phrases child support and university education in the same paragraph, how about if we ask it to look for the two phrases in the same sentence? So that's slash s. Slash s means um, you're asking Canley to look for uh, documents that have the word divorce and also the phrase uh, the phrase child support and the phrase university education. But you want uh, the phrase child support and university education to be found within the same sentence of each other. So let's do a search on that and see what we come up with. All right, so uh, this is quite nice because now you have um, only 49 cases to look at. Now, if you want to be even more specific, you might want to uh, play around with this operator, this proximity operator, to uh, not only within the same sentence, let's say that you want to have these two phrases, child support and university education, university education within five words of each other. So you go slash five and let's see what we come up with. So now we're really starting to get there because now we only have 10 cases to look at. So it's looking much better. And if you go down um, and let's take a look at what we have, um, you'll see that uh, oh, child support, university education, they're, uh, they're being mentioned within the same um, sentence. So it's looking like uh, it's getting to be more relevant, which is, which is great. So this essentially um, is um, uh, how one would go about um, uh, defining the, the search terms to Canly so that you're coming up with uh, more and more relevant results. So thanks for watching and um, I'm going to be um, uh, posting a few more videos on how to use Canly. So uh, please stay in touch and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.